So guys, it's dawn, and we slowly wake up. Do you know why? Because the maggot is alive. We have live maggots on the atomic lake, and we will go fishing now. Let's see what monsters and mutants we catch here. Do you think the fish will only be huge? I think it's about the size of your palm. Will we catch Megaladen? <laughs> this time we must catch it for sure because we tried to fish in Pripyat so many times and nothing ever worked out. Let's put on masks and glasses. Because on the very first day we absorbed a lot of radiation. They also pitched the tent in the wrong place. We absorbed 800 somewhere during the night. We're not kidding guys. It's 74 now and counting. It grows because it comes from the earth. And we slept on these carpets. Look, there are almost 100 here. Yes, we chose the wrong place to spend the night. I don't know how this happened. We checked something like this. So we have a branded fishing rod called duck. This is incredibly cool. I don't know where we found this. Look at the tail sticking out there. Do you see? It's rubber. Alluring. The main thing is that we have a lot of hooks and maggots. Look. Size 10? Is this not enough for a megalodon? I don't think there's a megalodon here. What about mega catfish? There are only small ones here. I see. Such a cool float. But why is everything separate? Why not a kit? Look what's outside. What a beauty. Where did you see the haze? Oh my god. Look, radioactive haze. The wind really died down, imagine. Launch the drone immediately. Atomic Lake. They drilled a well at the mouth of the river, number 1004. On January 15, 1965, they laid a charge with a capacity of 140 kilotons. This was the first underground thermonuclear explosion as part of the Soviet program of peaceful nuclear explosions. Program number 7. And the first test at the Balapan experimental site of the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. The explosion was carried out to test the possibility of creating reservoirs in arid regions using the method of escalating the soil with a nuclear explosion. The explosive device was installed in the bed of the Chagan River at a depth of 178 meters. The explosion created a crater more than 400 meters wide and more than 100 meters deep. Sometime after the explosion, a special channel was created with the help of which the resulting crater was filled. The level of radiation around the lake created mainly by the radioactive isotopes cobalt-60, cesium-137, europium-152 and europium-154 reaches in some places up to 8 millirenkin per hour. That is, there are 8,000 somewhere. We haven't found this yet. Radioactive contamination of the lake's water was estimated at 300 p curie per liter. The lake is still used for watering livestock. So, Columbia Pictures doesn't present. It's very cold here. It can be very cold in the mornings on the nuclear lake. It's incredibly cold here in the morning. These are the steps of Kazakhstan. The guys are assembling the tent, and I'm drying my shoes, right next to the crater. So guys, we're leaving this place. We're going nuclear fishing. Let's just let it go. I don't want to start the engine in vain and break the clutch. How beautiful. What's going on here? In this nuclear lake? Nuclear carp. Good depth. Is this a good float? How do you think? Yes, the float is good, but we don't have a rubber band for the float. What's the use of glasses if you've taken off your nose protection? Do you think? Yes. A particularly strong fishing line. Oh wait, is there a hook there? Is there a hook? Yes. And there's still a weight there? Wow, this is a good set. We thread our micro fishing line into our micro float. Let's unpack our maggot. It's very smelly. Holy crap. This is a blood worm. Is this a blood worm? It's so disgusting. Just disgusting. But fish love this. We put our moth on the hook. 
What? Ugh, it's all gone. This is bad. Fish don't like this. One more. Fish love this. I think the float is set quite low. It is self-regulating. Even so? So, this is fishing on an atomic lake. Today we plan to catch a very, very large radioactive fish. Oh no, the float didn't. The float is not. Great, smooth, hooray, the float is worth it. Is the fish biting or not? Why did it fall? But there are jerks. Is it you doing? It's biting. Did they start packing right away? No way. Look, grab it. No, no. But we decided to go there. There's a backwater there. There should be better fishing there, guys. We'll check now. Yes. This atomic lake has such a beach. Yes, see how cool it is. Now let's go. Come on. Cool. Nice throw. Great. It bites slowly. There are more worms here. Did you also buy earthworms? Certainly. Are they okay? A little red. This is a special type of worm called rud. Hold it tight. I do. Very strong. Maybe more. But why didn't you use it entirely? You could use all of it. Not enough line. It was dangerous. They could have jumped out. You need to do it gently. There is a line that needs to be adhered to. Let's try it, Anton? Yes. Maybe put some more electrical tape on top? Good idea. This is how you should assemble a fishing rod correctly. And rings are for weaklings. Just like that, so that it holds up well. This is what we got. Let me stand on the stone. Okay, with such a fishing rod you can catch big fish. That gurgled so well. This is where things get more interesting. No fish. Probably everyone died due to radiation. For some reason it doesn't bite. There are not even small fish. This is a very bad place. I threw it a little poorly. But overall, the result was achieved. You scared the fish. No, on the contrary. And the catfish is attracted to these sounds. This is the mating sound for this. For some reason we have no luck at all with fishing. We tried so many times, in Pripyat several times, and now we are also trying to fish, but we can't catch fish at all. Wait! It's dragging me down. Is it caught or is it pulling? Stuck. That's all. We are changing geolocation. Maybe we'll get lucky there. Look at this beach. You threw it well. I hear nothing. We got tired of this and decided to go to the secondary nuclear lake. Because at least there are birds there. There are seagulls. So weird, guys. This lake is really dead. There's no one here, even frogs or fry on the shore. There aren't even mosquitoes here, imagine. This is so strange. I thought there would be plenty of fish here. There is also a secondary lake on the other side, like a spill. Because there was a failure, there was some kind of ground collapse. There is less radiation on the secondary lake. There we'll find fish. Here we go. Let's see what's biting here. Look, Anton, there are already some algae here. There wasn't even algae there. It's cool here. Look how the float stands. But there are no fish. I don't know, maybe it's not the season for fishing yet. Damn, what's wrong? What should we do? Guys, we're really trying. What's wrong? Just don't write in the comments that you can't catch fish because our fishing rod is crooked. Hell, but here it is higher. Higher. There were 15, but here it's 25. There was precipitation here because the explosion was nearby. 31, 42, 48. The alarm went off. It's dangerous here. Some pigs were burning a fire here. You can't do that in radioactive places. Let's test the waters. It's usually consuming. Look guys. No, here it is 20, 23, 24, but why? 26. 
This is bad. Here for some reason, the pollution is even worse than there. No, in the round one there is also something at the bottom. It's not just that all living things died there. There is a lot of radiation everywhere here, oddly enough. Nothing? Let's go further. Anyway, it's already 9 a.m. and not a single bite. Imagine, this is an atomic lake. Normal fishing rod and there is no fry. Usually you always come to the shore. The Malek is swimming there. We were so hoping to catch a giant radioactive fish. But there is nothing. Let's go fix some bikes. My grip is very bad. Now let's see what happened to this. My clutch slipped so much that the engine cannot crank during the start. Because it starts with a push. I accelerate, release the clutch, the engine does not turn over. Disassembling the clutch just slows down. Let's open this boss. Let's see what condition the discs are in. Something can be tightened there. Open the lid. As usual, for now. It's a classic. Let's unscrew the locking screw with the pads. Now it will be revealed. So, I hope there are intact pads. Take it off carefully. Is the clutch okay? Look, it's wiped off. Look how it shines. There's quite a bit of wear here. Is this fine? Or is it already very worn out? Yes. But here it's normal. I think it will take a long time to wear out. There is still depth. But when it wears down to metal, give me this disc. Is this leather coated? Why? Do you think? No. Should I use sandpaper or not? I don't know whether we're doing it right or not, but we want to increase the grip. Go over it with sandpaper, so that it will adhere better to these things. It needs to be tightened from the inside, there is still a huge spring there. But we tried that, but it didn't work. Let me. Yes, there is scratching. We'll check now. It was promoted internally. What is this responsible for? We tightened the bolt. Now we'll see if the clutch appears or not. We tightened it with an adjustable wrench. Wow! Nuclear bike! No way! I thought that we would be stuck at this training ground. The reason has been found. This works perfectly. It didn't work that well at all. Repairs every morning. Every morning. Dima checks the pressure. Today my basket fell apart again. It's a miracle I knitted this because we don't have any wire. Thanks to Atomic Lake for a great time. But we move on. Yesterday we were almost blown away by the wind. It was very strong. It's a very cold day today. You know, Anton, my engine is frozen. I barely got it going. Do you hear that? It's poor. This is hard. What about traction? The same. Probably the clutch. Okay, let's go. It's warming up now. I think it'll be good. Anton, we are now at the nuclear test site, where a lot of underground nuclear explosions were carried out. A lot of wells have been drilled here, and there will be funnels all around. So far everything is normal with radiation, 8 microoenkin. Guys, there is endless step here. We are driving through the site of underground nuclear explosions. Look, what a gorgeous road that goes through the nuclear test site. This is because coal is mined at a nuclear test site. There is a huge coal mine there. They open pit mine it. It's very rare to see a car on this road. It's not coal that's being transported. It's probably fuel. Look guys. They transport coal on this railway. That's why there are no coal trucks here. This is on a train going to China. He's mining something. Coal! This is a coal mine. They export coal to China. There are huge deposits of coal here, almost on the surface. We have to travel 120 miles to the experimental field, even a little more. This is the sign. On the left is the Karazer coal mine, and on the right is the village of Balapan. This village is secret. You see that the village of Balapan is closed. It is guarded. You can't go there. So it's closed. There are a lot of fences there, and it looks like there is a nuclear reactor. There are something like that. Damn, I really want to go there. Look, there's a monument there. 
Is this a monument? Let's watch. Cool. Interesting monument. Founders of Karazer. In August 1997. 1997, it was founded after the collapse of the USSR. Look, the prisoners are being transported. No, these are workers in a closed community where you wanted to go. But why are they so guarded and driven with a flashing light? Maybe this is how prisoners work? Crap. But I'll let it rest. Gasoline is spilling. Holly molly. Look, almost everything spilled out. It happens. What's there? Founder of Balapan. But who was the founder of Balapan? Do you know? I know. You can spend the night here. That's a pretty good idea. There are some cables here. Why is it so uncomfortable here? This will protect us from the wind. Very cool place. This is where we will put up a tent and we will throw garbage there. It can be used as a toilet. <laughs> Look, there are some gears here. Look, there's some kind of mechanism there. Wow, there is even a workplace here. There is a chair here. You can sit down and relax. Lockers. These are cabinets for tools. Good thing. So cool. Yes, this is an ideal place to spend the night. But why is it so cold today? It's already noon. There are no letters E everywhere here. Letters E? Yeah. Is there internet here? Nope. Most likely they installed a mini base tower at the quarry so that workers could call each other there. But they didn't think about the internet. And the equipment there is probably more expensive. Great view. But there are trash cans here. You can throw out the trash. Anton climbs to the top and I climb down. It looks like water. In fact, it's a mirage. Look, there's a train there. The horse is galloping. And there's a cowboy. What do you think they're carrying there? Of course coal. The second refueling. The first on a nuclear lake. Is there is a lot of gasoline left? So many. There's a lot, so you're afraid nothing. It should be enough. There are heaps of coal lying around the road. You can really gather enough for the whole winter. There's not much here, but earlier we saw straight mountains. Look, everything was carefully guarded. It's here, Balapan 2 site. Security booth. Imagine, there are a lot of them here they shot. But this is an ideal place to spend the night. This Balapan, a secret military town. What are they doing there? We don't know. Did you see what kind of security there was under the USSR? Yes. This was for conscientious scientists and radiation. Yes, they really loved this nuclear theme. Guys, I have a problem. The brakes have failed. It doesn't work at all. At all. We decided to deviate a little from the route because we saw a city here, almost in the center of the nuclear test site. I don't know whether it's residential or non-residential. We have to stop by here. We see the traffic police checkpoint at the entrance. Anton. Maybe there are living people here somewhere? Maybe somewhere you can get repairs, and maybe there's even a store? It's abandoned. Is the city abandoned? Yes. Fully? Look, absolutely. People don't live here. It's just look good. Wow, then let's go there. Let's go there. Go ahead for reconnaissance, I'll follow. Anton says it's abandoned. No way, new town, is it really abandoned? Looks like prepute. Holy moly. How so? Look, brand new, this is some kind of establishment. It looks like a school. Why wasn't it stolen? There are people here.
Oh my god, we found an abandoned city at a nuclear test site. However, this was not on the cards. It's not marked anywhere. It's super secret, apparently recently abandoned, not much plundered. Wow, look how cool the bunker is on the right is. Holy crap. What is it? Holy moly. Did you hear what they said? It's like a secret object. Really? Get out of here. I filmed them, but not a word was heard. The engine was noisy. You are driving somewhere in the middle of the desert. In front of you is a whole city with plastic windows, satellite internet, and next to you, people are dismantling neighboring houses brick by brick in order to repair their own house. I'm so tired. Let's review dry ratios. Yes. Because I have absolutely no strength. I could barely ride this section. Mama Mia. This is a secret object, no way. In short, we again climbed into some incomprehensible structure, building, something like hangar. We slept so poorly at night that, we decided to put up a tent right here. Are there any bricks underneath? Then great. We'll get some sleep. Yes, we are so sleepy. So, is this a sensitive facility? Now the Kazakh KMB will arrive. In short, now we will rest. Guys, in short. In short, we slept a little, Dima had already left. We are in a strange security facility. But it seems we got enough sleep and everything is fine. Is there anyone there, Dima? Yes. Then let's assemble the tent and repair the bike. Yes. Look at this sunset. At the nuclear test site. Nuclear sunset. Pull it. Chain. It should work. Great. Guys, we have been performing this operation more than a dozen times. You know, when this happened, I had the idea that this was the last nerdy mustache. Yes, I took a spare one when we left Semipolatinsk. From Semipolatinsk? Did you take this off that bike? Yes. Good job, this was very wise. In short, these bikes are the problem. If you press the brake sharply, the brake lever breaks out and turns. Let me... Great! So... Is this it? Pull! It's okay. It means there's something else going on. Then we'll replace the bushing and that's it. Should I remove the sprocket? There is no other way. By the way, yes. Okay. Now you don't need to take it off. We will then put it exactly like this. Great, now it will be easier. We got the parts from this bushing. Visually everything seems to be intact, but it doesn't work. Then let's just replace it. And let's move on. In short, guys, look, the bearing is here. This is also here. We barely figured it out. Now the biggest difficulty is that this part can only be inserted from the bottom up. I'll put it in and you can twist it. Let's go, guys. Wait. In order. So everything is correct. Let me. This is a break, right? This is a move. Does it work? I think so. We put everything together correctly. All that remains is to install the brake lever. Now we will need to check whether the brakes work and whether there is movement. By the way, guys, in all this time, we have never lubricated the chain. At the same time, whereon it is not noticeable at all. Wow! Everything breaks, but not the chain. In short, guys, something broke that we didn't expect at all. Somehow this bushing burst inside in half, the inner part rotates, the outer part stands still.
It's time for the last spare part from this wheel. There are not enough spokes on the spare one. We are now tightening the knitting needles, but our knitting needles are longer, so we have to bother here too. And some more reboarding. How hard? We pulled out the knitting needles to pick them up, and look what happened. The bushing has broken. The bushing broke. Damn, such a part would seem completely impossible to break. But you see, the loads are too heavy. Yes, for these bikes. But it's broken on both sides. Do you see, scrolls easily. Yes, on both sides. Wow. Here's the terrible eight. The main thing is that this is enough for the experimental field. We'll crawl further somehow. Look what I found at this secret facility. The crew, entirely Komsomolsky, actively participates in public life. Companies are ready to meet the 25th Congress of the CPSU with dignity. Wow. This is a serious statement. This needs to be posted in a visible place. I'm filming TikTok again. <laughs> TikTok works offline. There has been no contact for several days. We live in a complete vacuum, and we don't know what's outside at all. As we can see, the wheel is gradually coming together. A lot of work. This sprocket, it's so dirty. Be careful. We also changed the tires because they were worn out. I can't, huh? Almost, guys. It's pretty stubborn. You did it! This pump is very dirty, but it gets the job done. Surprisingly, there is enough charge. How many are there? 1,600. Yes. <laughs> we are upgrading the rear wheel to 1.6 to make it softer. Done. Just look, guys. We barely got it set up. Look. The brake works and the travel works. Great, everything is fine. The main thing is not to disrupt it again. Press the pedal smoothly. Let's turn the bike over and tighten the spokes. Don't care. They're actually leaked out quite a bit. It's just really smelly. Let's check it out. It's in oil and gasoline. Maybe try a ride around a nuclear test site? It's so easy to overclock. Everything is great. It goes well. There are further guarded objects. I won't go there. This is a plus of traveling on motorcycles. Gasoline must be transferred. Did you think this was ending? We still have a lot of gasoline. There is more gasoline here than water. We took 50 liters. This is not a joke. This one takes a lot of gas, guys. A lot of. We pour it in there all the time. Don't forget about the oil. I think you need a little less than a cork. About that much. Eat this. Yum yum yum. Like this. Great. The engine will be happy. We decided to be stalkers and explore this territory a little. We must walk quietly so that no one here sees us. Because they said that this facility is closed. You can't be here at all, even where there is devastation. There is an active building on the left, see? The main thing is that they don't see us now. You need to walk quietly and not attract attention. Look how gloomy it is here. A double barbed wire fence surrounds the property. What's wrong? I think that we need to be more careful, because there. They can see us. That part is residential. Apparently there are military personnel there, or something else. The most important thing is that this is a strategic object. You can't be here at all. But I realize that the security here is weak, since we are in such a wilderness that it is unlikely that anyone will come here to stalk. I agree. If someone comes here, they will see us right away. They thought we had left. Look at this. This is a panel room. Look how atmospheric it is there. Holy moly. There is a slight draft here. So gloomy. Most likely there was a shower here. Look at these windows. There were display cases like this everywhere. Yes, white and blue. Look guys. Why did they knock it out? So scary. Another small room. Wow, this is a big room. They shouldn't see us from there. Yes, I'll turn off the light. Because they can see us here. 
cool object. It's so clean here. What happened here, Anton? Wanna spend the night here. The floor here is like at school. Like in Soviet grocery stores. From granite. Mama Mia, look. This is Soviet graphics. Wow. For our Soviet homeland. Beautiful. You can't find something like this very often, in fact. This is the dining room. Here we ate Soviet mashed potatoes with cutlets and sauce. I miss it. Mashed potatoes with cutlet and sauce. Look at these penguins. This is the first time I've seen this, really. This is a rare Soviet tile. There is a swallow and a dog here. Both for children. But there were no children here at all. Yes, look. What is this? What is it? Is this a samovar? Maybe a bee. It's not so bad here. Only these glasses. Be careful. There is nobody there? No one seems to be there. Let's go to. The building is simply huge. Have you seen? Three floors. Yes, they are there. This Pripyat is so strange. We didn't expect to find this at all, you guys. But where is the entrance to this? We will climb through the window. The light is on there. I'll tell you more. There are dogs there. And they didn't smell us only because the wind was blowing here. Did you hear them barking? Yes, when we left. Look, everything was within the perimeter. There is barbed wire all around, in several rows. Almost every building. It was protected. And this is also protected. Wow! What kind of bird is this? Drawing. There's another one behind. It looks like an assembly hall. Yes. Imagine, congresses were held here. Congresses of the CPSU. Yes. Wow. Just look. Like in North Korea. Yes, one to one. Here look. Maybe it has the same basis? Communism. I'm curious what these objects are. There are some towers in the distance. There is no information about this object on the internet. I don't even know if this red building is active or abandoned. Here's a bomb shelter for the hike because it's such a hill. Guys, we found the way down to the basement. I don't know what's there. The stairs are very small. Small toilet. Is there something here? There are even windows. Be careful. Wow. Speakers, look, Anton, huge column, for music. What is it? Weapon. Are these gas masks? Detonite. It's explosive. Diameter 32 millimeters for open pit work and for mines and shafts that are not hazardous due to gas or dust. Imagine, detonite, boxes with tonite. Something was blown up here. There was an old tube TV here. It's broken. Just imagine, previously, televisions were made of wood. But this is very old, lamp-based. It's from 70s. A very scary object. We found the largest building here. Someone laid the bricks. Everything is ready to go inside. Small assembly hall, Anton. Be careful, there is an active object there. It is better to turn off the light. There is a light on. Yes. It is very dangerous to shine here. Don't shine, Dima. What is it? A book is a source of knowledge. Lenin. Yes. Mama Mia, true Lenin. Yes. Look, everybody is here. Even Gagarin is here. Space, sailors, and military. Oh my God. Holy moly! What is this? Look how many wash basins there are. And it's made of bricks. Toilet, look how it is in the USSR. I think I saw a bomb shelter there. We will spend the night there with our bikes. That's why we're going to the bomb shelter now. I was so scared, Sasha. Oh my god! The bird just flew out of there. Nightmare!
It's very dark here. We'll take our bikes with us. Not bad? Let's spend the night here. Do you feel it's warm here? We can close the door. There is a door here. There are small rooms here. If we close, it will be very good. For example here, no dust smell, but there is no door. And here there is a door. But it's dirty there. I guarantee you that tonight will be the coldest night. And it will be very cold there. But it doesn't close completely. Looks powerful. But it will be warm here too. No, because the door is open. We are warm now, but in an hour it will be cold. Let's watch. But there is a strong smell of gasoline here. It's cleaner there, and there is less dust there, not like here. Just add it up. We take the tent into a locked room. Say what you want, but it's much fresher here. So, we stopped right in this crumbled hangar for the night. And tomorrow, we will go to that experimental field. We only have 60 miles left. The road must be good. But the problem is that it is complex. We will need to follow the navigator clearly. There is a strange object nearby. But we have nothing to fear because we have a NATO spray, always at hand. We have a NATO spray can and they have NATO machine guns. Okay, let's go to sleep. The most interesting thing began at 3 a.m. We heard some sounds, as if someone had gone inside. I heard it too. Did you hear? I thought it was you walking around the tent. And I froze when you started talking. Someone rustled a bag outside. Should I go check? Look in the next episode, what the security did to us at this secret facility. Horror.